Hi everyone, in this problem we're going to give a very rough sketch of this function. So we'll start by giving a sketch of x to the fourth power. So if you have y equals x to the fourth power, basically it looks like this. Here's your y-axis, here's your x-axis, so that's x and y. And it's a very narrow looking graph, it looks something like this. It's just, it's like a u, it's almost like x squared except it's a little bit more narrow. Okay, that's the graph of x to the fourth. So now in this problem here, we're adding three to it. So when you do that, I'll just call it y again, a bit abusive using the same notation, but that's okay, it's a different graph. <laughs> when you add a number to the x, it's, it's backwards, so you go left by three. So in this case, we would take the graph of x to the fourth and just go left three, one, two, three, and we would be here. So this would be this graph here. So you take this whole picture and you go left three. So again, whenever you add or subtract the x, it's backwards. So x plus 3 is left 3. x minus 3 would be right 3. And this last step here, this plus 1, basically takes the whole graph up by 1. So we'll go 1, 2, 3, 1, and we'll put a dot. And then we'll draw our very, very narrow looking graph. And that would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful.